like a trip on a hot air balloon? What if we set up mini golf in the cafe? Or we bring a juggler to the office? Or what if we got everyone a puppy? Oh, oh, hello friends. I'm Ms. Rachel. And I'm Shannon. And welcome to our Lake Point Kids online family experience. We're so glad you came today. Shannon and I were just talking about a way we could surprise the staff here at the church with something special, but we're having a hard time coming up with an idea. We want it to be something everyone will enjoy, but we haven't found the right thing yet. We'll have to keep thinking on it though. In the meantime, let me wish you a happy September. This is the very first Sunday in September and there are lots of exciting things coming up this month, like the start of school for some of our friends. We are praying that school starts off well for everyone. And some of our friends have something else exciting happening and that's a birthday this month. We want to wish a special happy birthday to Nev, Xander, Evan, Samuel, Sienna, Lucy, Jonah, and Ethan. We hope you have a wonderful day and celebrate with something fun like cake or a party. That's it. What's it? A party. Let's have a party for all the staff. That's a great idea. But what kind of party should we have? Hmm, I, I don't know. Like we could have a taco party. Or a dress up party. Or a beach party. Or a tea party. Hmm. We're gonna have to keep thinking about our party. Why don't you guys go for a little visit with our friends at the clubhouse while we do that?
Hi, I'm so glad you're all here today. I was just about to do something really fun and exciting. Do you want to help me? Great, I was hoping you'd say that. My mom gave me this big bin of stuff to look through. She said it will help me with my plan for a very special party. An ice cream sundae party. I am so excited. Let's look inside. Whoa, check out these colorful ice cream bowls. These definitely need to be part of my party plan. Oh yes, spoons. You can't eat an ice cream sundae without spoons. Spoons definitely have to be part of this party plan. And so are these decorations. These streamers are perfect. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who, who? Planning a party, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I'm putting together my plan for the very best ice cream sundae party the clubhouse has ever seen. I'm so excited. Party planning is fun, it's true. I have a story about a different plan to tell you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello friends. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Happy Ice Cream Sunday Month! <laughs> and what better thing to go with ice cream than cupcakes! See the little ice cream cones on top? I made them for my friend's ice cream Sunday party. He has big plans for his party. That reminds me of today's story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay. So today's true story from the Bible is all about a plan. Did you know that God has a plan for you? It's true. God has a plan for us. And he had a plan for Joseph too, like we see in this true story from the Bible. This is Joseph. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph had 11 brothers. Let's count them. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven! Whoa! That's a lot of brothers. <laughs> One day, Joseph's father gave him a special gift. It was a coat! An absolutely beautiful coat. When the brothers saw Joseph had a special coat and they didn't, how do you think they felt? Do you think they felt happy? Show me your happy face. Or, do you think they felt mad? Show me your mad face. Which do you think they were? Yes, they were mad that Joseph had a special coat and they didn't. So they took Joseph's coat away and threw him in the ground. That's not good. That would make me sad or mad or even scared, but do you know what? Joseph knew that God loved him and he knew that God was always with him so he could trust God's plan. Just then, his brother showed up and pulled Joseph out of the hole. Uh-oh, what are they doing? The brother sent Joseph with some people going to Egypt and they took him really, really, really far away. Things were not going well for Joseph, but he knew that God loved him and he knew that God was always with him so he could trust God's plan. God loved Joseph and had a plan for him. In fact, there is a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. And God loves us and he has a plan for us too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. 
That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God had a plan for Joseph, and he has a plan for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a story. Joseph must have been really scared, but he knew God loved him and was always with him, so he could trust in God's plan. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Well, speaking of plans, I need to get some help planning for this ice cream sundae party. I think I'm gonna get my friends to help. I'll see you guys next time, goodbye. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Shannon and I have decided to plan an ice cream party for the staff, just like Kai is going to have for his friends. What a great idea the video gave us. But you know, the video gave us something else great too, and that's the reminder that God has a plan for us. Today we looked at the first part of Joseph's story. We heard how Joseph had a dad who loved him very much and gave him a colorful coat. We also heard how Joseph had a lot of brothers, and when they saw Joseph get that coat, oh, they were not happy. Instead, they became angry and threw Joseph into a pit. That must have been so scary for Joseph. Show me your scared faces. That must have been so sad for Joseph too. Show me your sad faces. But Joseph remembered that God loved him and was always with him, and so he could trust God's plan. He remembered that while he was in the pit, and then later when his brothers took him out and sent him far, far away. Joseph remembered that God loved him and that God was always with him, and so he trusted in God's plan. We'll learn more about Joseph next week. But did you know, just like God had a plan for Joseph, God has a plan for you too. It's true. And just like Joseph, you can trust God. You can trust him because he loves you and is always with you. Today, friends, I want you, along with your family, to plan a special event for you all to participate in. Maybe it will be watching a funny movie with popcorn, or a game night, or a bike ride, or a picnic at the park, or maybe even a bonfire in the backyard. There are so many ideas to choose from. And as you make a plan for your family, remember that God has a plan for you. This week, we start with our new weekly prize, the choice of one of the books we'll be featuring on our Lake Point Kids Facebook page this week for you all to enjoy together as a family. So to have a chance at winning it, all you need to do is tell me what your special plan is for your family. Parents, please share the idea with me on our Lake Point Kids Facebook page or email to me at rachel at lakepoint.church. Parents, please take a moment right now to fill out the online connection card available on the Lake Point app. It's like our guest book, letting us know who is watching and helping us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for some of our Lake Point initiatives and opportunities. So parents, pull out your phones while we put on the 60 second countdown. And friends, while your parents do that, why don't you see if you can jump up and down for the entire time during that 60 second countdown? Think you can do it? Oh, I bet you can. Three, two, one.
feel free to enjoy our earlier family experience episodes on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the family resources section. Thanks for tuning in today, friends. I'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Remember, God has a plan for you.